As we continue covering what's happening across southern New England this weekend, we are heading down over about, you know, hop, skip, and a jump to Warwick. The annual Gatsby Days Parade commemorating the 1772 burning of the HMS Gatsby by Rhode Island colonists is set to take place. Ashley Erling is live down there right now telling us about some of the other things that are happening over there this weekend. Good morning, Ashley, and what can we expect? Hey, Joe, good morning. Yes, this is one of the most fun shots of the year because the energy is electric here. We are along the parade route and I'm with Tracy Miller. She is this year's chair of the parade. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thank you so much for having us. I know there's a lot of things you need to attend to this morning. Yes, I but do. before you get to all of that, tell us more about this year's parade. This year's parade is um, our 59th um, and it is also the 250th anniversary for the Patuxent Rangers, so we got a lot going on. Um, a lot of people wanted to be in it this year, so I have 39 um, units and uh, 50 community. So our parade is a little bit longer, it will last a little bit longer, but we're all excited. Everyone is so excited. The weather is beautiful. It's so lovely. We are in the middle of where the staging happens right now. So everyone pulling in that you can see around us. Are they all part of the parade? Tell us what's going on right now. So yes, everybody that is in here is part of the parade. Um, the staging area is kind of set up where the cars um, and the units are on that side. The cars are on this side and everybody's just coming down, getting into their groups and getting ready. And it's such an exciting day. It's so fun to see the community come together. I know that's such an important part of the parade. Tell us more about that and how the community really comes together for this. It's one of the biggest events of the year here in Warwick. It's absolutely crazy. Um, the community really, really does come together. When you go down the parade route, it is just amazing at how many people are here to watch. The craziest thing is, um, Seven to 10 days before the parade, you will actually see chairs set up on the parade, blocking those people's positions and getting ready for the parade. So that's just crazy to come down here. And as you, as the days get closer, you get more and more chairs and it just leads all the way down the parkway. It's incredible. It's like unheard of to have people that excited over an event like this, but it really is that exciting. And you see everyone here with smiles on their faces this morning and ready for a fun day. Now, for those who are coming today to watch, what should they know? What types of things will they be seeing in the parade? So the first half of the parade, units one to six, is Colonial, um, which is our fife and drum mm -hmm. and our militia. Um, and then we have some fillers um, in between. And then our back half of the parade, we have the Shriners leading um, seven. And then we have eight, nine, and ten. And eight is our Warwick Division, nine is our Cranston and 10 is our miscellaneous um, and lots of floats. Lots of fun to see. I know you have lots to do, so. Let's take a look at what's happening across southern New England this weekend in Warwick. The annual Gatsby Days Parade commemorating the 1772 burning of the HMS Gatsby by Rhode Island colonists is set to take place. And that's where Ashley Erling is right now, telling us about some of the other things this weekend has to offer. What can we expect out there, Ashley? Gatsby days are here. Today is parade day and I'm here with Jerry Peshka and he is the president of the Gatsby days committee. His second tour of duty. In fact, uh, yes, <laughs> they, we uh, had a little problem. So a couple of us have stepped up to do second tours back by popular demand. This is one of the <laughs> biggest weekends in Warwick of the year. Tell us a little bit about what's going on this weekend overall before we even get to the parade because the parade's not the only thing. Well, this weekend we have a road race. Um, it is down starts the other end of the parade route runs toward the parade and then turns around and runs back. We normally average up to 1,600 people. We are over 2,000 this year. Uh, so this is the biggest road race we've ever had. Uh, A beautiful day for it, too. Phenomenal. And phenomenal. then there's also different, you know, the burning of the gas. What else is going on? The burning is actually on Sunday. Yep. There is a colonial encampment down in the park, which is absolutely wonderful if people want to see what colonial life yeah. was really like. And then we have the burning later in the day. We'll have some music down there. It'll be it'll be a great day. All right, now let's talk parade. We are along the route. It is chaotic. The excitement <laughs> is here. Everyone is lining up. Tell us about the parade. Tell us about what goes into this. This parade, we start setting up for this a year in advance. Um, Tina, um, yeah, right. Tracy did a great job setting it up this year. Um, it's one of the bigger ones that we've ever had. Uh, it goes for 
three miles basically from here down. Um, it's one of the biggest events in Rhode in uh, Cranston Warwick. Cranston Warwick police train for this all year long. And it's a great celebration and really a wonderful community event. We're seeing people, you know, lining up and staging for the parade now, putting all their chairs out. It's just such a great atmosphere. The chairs started to come out on Monday. I saw it actually. I was driving by <laughs> and, the and neighborhood. People try, and people tie them to you know, telephone poles. It's absolutely wonderful. We have a great community support here. It's, uh, it's been a wonderful support system. The parade costs about $70,000 to put on. Um, you know, you, you spend buying Porta Johns, renting mm -hmm. Porta Johns, having police, having all this down here. So it, it's a lot of work, yeah. but it's well worth it. You know, this is to celebrate the burning of the HMS Gatsby in 1772 mm -hmm. by a bunch of local people yeah. um, who were never caught. There was a huge bounty put out on them, and they were never caught. So it's a, it's a great celebration. It's a very Rhode Island event, and we're going to let you go because Jerry's a busy man. And he has a lot to do, but the fun continues all weekend here in Warwick.